Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be showing you how to cut and fold a topographic map as well as create this accordion type device out of uh, a regular 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So, um, not all topographic maps need to be cut and I'll address that in the article. Um, sorry, the article and the video. Um, but essentially what you're doing is you're, you're taking a map that's normally a pretty big size. Um, this topographic map, for example, that we had um, custom made for our muster event that we did a while back. Um, this is 24 by 29, so it's a pretty large map. Um, and what we're going to show you is how you can take this and you know, fold it nicely down to roughly a 6 by 7 quadrant size. So each one of these 16 quadrants we'll show you how to fold this into will be roughly 6 by 7. So that creates a, uh, a nice sized surface for you to, to work on um, rather than having um, to deal with that big map. So let's get right into it. We'll zoom in and get a little bit of detail on this and I'll show you how to fold this up. Okay guys, so what I've created here is a, a little training aid. Um, this map folding and cutting technique actually comes from an old army manual um, and they also illustrate this by labeling the quadrants um, A through Q. Um, now those of you that know letters and math will immediately see that there's not the A through Q is not 16 at 17. Well, I is eliminated on here just to just for lack of confusion, I can sometimes look like a 1 and things like that, or an L. So um, just to avoid that, I is not shown on here. But So what we've done here is I've created this so that you can actually see the benefit of um, the cut technique. And the cut technique I'll get into, but I want to briefly show what it is first. So um, by making a simple cut on the map, or basically you can kind of see that right here. Um, that quadrant has been cut there, and I'll address that in a second. But you can easily flip from four quadrants basically anywhere on the map. So by using this method, so you see A through D there, just a simple flip there gives you E through H. A little turn of the map and a flip gives you J through M, as well as another turn gives you N through Q. So it's, it's pretty simple to really visually see any four quadrants with a simple flip and a turn of the map. So that's kind of the, the premise of having a cut map. Um, I don't really quite like the cut technique myself. Um, another thing to you know talk about too is that you can actually tack this down. You can, you know, um, so basically J and L and A and C, you can sandwich those together and use some uh, spray mount or something to put those together as well as the other side here, O and Q and F and H, you can put those together. So basically that map isn't going anywhere in terms of that and it gives it a little more stability. So um, anyhow, I think that's kind of overkill for a map myself. I do like the ability to quickly flip um, to those major four quadrants on the map um, with just a simple turn of the map. Um, but what I like is, is the same folding technique, it's just without a cut. So um, we'll need to show the folding technique anyway. So let me, uh, let me actually address that real quick. So as you can see with my trainer here that I've made, on the back I, what I've tried to do is put a little pencil line on each of the quadrants so you can kind of roughly see those. And the little X's in the middle, hopefully you can kind of see that a little bit, those little X's in the middle are where the cut goes. Um, so you can see that and I'll show you exactly how to fold that to cut it easily too. So anyway, the first step is to actually fold the map and what I like to do is just um, I'll show it with this one because I've already got one folded that's not cut so it'll be a little bit easier to see than the cut map. So what I've done here, let me lay this all the way out here. So the first step is going to be to to fold this in half. So you want to fold it in half lengthwise like this and one thing to note too is that every fold that I've made I've actually gone back and folded the opposite direction too. So if this were my first fold and I was folding in the middle here I would actually open this up, flip it around to the other side, and crease the other side as well. So I put a crease line there as well as on the other side. So I just think that actually helps a lot in terms of when you're folding this map around. Um, having a crease line on both sides really kind of adds to it being able to fold nicely. Um, so anyhow, once you've got that lengthwise fold here, you're basically going to turn it around so it's facing you, if you like, and you're going to fold that side up. So at home, as you're watching this, 
I'll show you here. So there's your halfway fold. You're going to fold this up and crease. And again, you'll want to fold the opposite direction and crease. Then you'll flip it around like this. And then again, fold up and crease. So what that gives you is something that looks like this. So you've got your, your three crease lines in there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing going lengthwise. So there's your first fold, just like that. And again, make sure you crease it on the other side. You're going to take this side up, crease again, flip it over, over, and up, and crease again. So what this gives you in the end is 16 quadrants. And these are, like I said, on this size map, they're roughly six by seven quadrants. Um, and what I like about just the simple fold technique is that, so by just taking this, let me show you the correct way here. So I'll take this and I'll go down in the middle, just like this. So I'm left with something that looks like this. I can see all four of those top quadrants, just like that. And if I flip it over, I can see all four of the bottom quadrants like that. So typically that's where, or not typically, it's where your, your information is going to be, such as your scale, um, what quadrangle the map is located in, as, as well as your, your declination and things like that. So these are all important things to know on the map, and um, it gives you those all at once if you need them. So the way I like to, to fold this too is I just go by the quadrant I actually need. So with a 1 in 24 map, which is what this is, 1 in 24,000, um, I, there's really not a whole lot of flipping back and forth like uh, I showed you on this other one that I dropped. <laughs> Let me get this back here. So on this one, remember as I was telling you, by cutting it, you're allowing yourself to, uh, to essentially flip back and forth between those major big quadrants, the you know four quadrants at a time. I really think that's overkill, especially on a 1 in 24 map. You're typically not going to be, you know, yes, you might need to look at that for calculation and dead reckoning and things like that, but um, for the most part, just having that simple 6 by 7 square is going to be sufficient enough when you're, you know, storing the map in your pocket and things like that. But So having those crease lines allows you to pretty much just unfold this and get to any quadrant you need to. So if I needed to get into that center quadrant here, just a simple fold will get me right into that and then I can shove that into my pocket. So let me show you the, uh, the cut technique really quick here. So once you've got those 16 quadrants folded, um, you want to cut the map. So what I'm going to do is actually flip it over to the back side here and show you here. So what I'm going to do is actually get this lengthwise and fold this up here so it's a little easier to see. So I'm going to fold it roughly like this. So you can see that I've got that middle section right there. And the cut line. on this is actually going to go right there. So all you're going to do is essentially cut that middle section or those four, the split on the four quadrangles there. So, and I'll try to illustrate this better in photos too and the actual article will write on this. But what you're doing is you're just making a cut down the center and what this enables you to do is I'm going to fold this back like this. So you'll want to fold it like this again. So you're basically looking at A, C, J, and L on the right. You're looking at F, H, O, and Q on the left. I'm sorry, you're right. You're left here. And all you're going to do is fold that up in the middle and then just split it like this. So it lays down either this way or this way. And then you'll fold it in the middle, and that gives you that four quadrant um, view of it. So now just with a simple flip back and forth, or a flip this way and a flip back and forth, you're now staring at all four of those quadrants. So that's the benefit of cutting it like that. Um, again, it's just personal preference. Either you know the folding is what I personally like, um, just because I don't have to wind up cutting a map. Um, and the reason you want to fold these nicely too and take your time on each of the crease lines is that topo maps are expensive. They're not cheap to, to buy. 
Um, you know, these custom maps cost us, I don't know, we bought a bunch, so they were roughly 10 bucks or so a piece. But I mean, a good topo map printed, um, you know, can run you 12, 15 bucks or something like that. So um, you really want to take care of these. And, you know, if you can fold them nicely to begin with, um, they're going to last a long time and, and they'll keep better. That's, that's kind of one of the reasons I don't like cutting them, but that's just me. Um, I do want to illustrate that though, if, you know, if that's something you want to do. Um, the last thing that I want to go over is um, this little, basically this little try or zigzag fold that we did here to a piece of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Um, what this enables you to do is have a little tiny packet like this and flay it open. So this was something we made for the muster for all the staff. So on the one side, it's got the schedule for our muster event like this. And then on the back side, it's got the map, um, basically an overview map of the park where we had our event at, which is the same topo map here, just a scaled down version. And what we did is basically took eight and a half by 11 piece of paper like this and printed it different directions. So if you were to fold this in the middle, you'd see that the text is aligned that way. And if you were to turn it around, text is aligned this way, face up. So the way you'd fold this is simply to fold it lengthwise. Again, as I mentioned, I like to go ahead and fold the opposite direction and get a crease line going both ways. And then you're going to fold in half this way, lengthwise. And then same thing like you probably see with that other map, you're going to fold up from that direction and flip it around and fold up from this direction. So again, you've got that same kind of pattern that the big topo map had too. But now what you're going to do is I like to kind of cut this from the back side too. So you're, you're going to basically cut along this here. So you're going to cut between those four quadrants and I'll do that real quick on a piece of cardboard so I don't scratch up the desk here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that crease line, I'm going to follow it with an X-Acto knife here, and come all the way down right to there. So now what I've got is kind of the, the middle of the paper cut out like this. So now what that enables you to do is when you fold it, you kind of fillet this open like a Chinese finger trap thing. So you kind of do this with the paper and now you've got that little booklet. And what's great about that is now you can fold it any way you want to and get to any of those quadrants. So again, there's this quadrant opens up like this, flip it over, you've got access to everything that's on the back side too. All right guys, so those are just a couple of simple map folding techniques. Be sure to check out our article on itstactical.com, which will give you kind of some supplemental information on map folding as well as some detailed photos. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them and thanks for watching.